Andy Mogul. Why don't I go to cooking school? Bonjour. The Julie slash Julia Project. I cook my way through Julia Child's cookbook. 365 days, 524 recipes. I am risking my well-being for a deranged assignment. Is it crazy? Yes. This movie is such a chick flick that all the original poster featured was two eggs. The second poster, though, broke out the big guns. America's newest sweetheart, Amy Adams, and arguably the greatest actress to ever walk the earth, Meryl Streep. She's got the gold to prove it. And box office-wise, the lady's on a hot streak. Summer 2006, The Devil Wears Prada. Summer 2008, Mamma Mia. And she not only scored Best Actress nods for both pictures, but for the first time in her career, she also raked in the dough. Both of these films were major box office hits. So, will summer 2009 be just as successful for Streep? Nora Ephron sure hopes so, as the writer-director hasn't had a hit since 11 years ago with You've Got Mail. Yeah, Meg Ryan ain't the good luck charm she used to be. But if anyone is heir to Ryan's rom-com throne, it's Amy Adams. Although Adams is more than just adorable, as she's already earned two Oscar nominations, whereas Ryan still has none. Talent and charm. That is what it takes to become an acting legend, and maybe Adams will get there. But there's no question Streep is a living legend, and her portrayal of Julia Child is nothing short of amazing. Let's just hope audiences are hungry for this kind of femme fair. A good movie and a good meal have always been a great match. So what's your favorite movie meal combo? Mine would have to be spaghetti and meatballs and The Godfather. Obvious, but oh so delicious. Write your favorite combos down below, and after the break, we'll find out from audiences if Julie and Julia is a tasty treat. great was Meryl Streep? Wonderful. You know, she's never been better. Meryl Streep, I thought she was fantastic. She's great, of course. Well, she was phenomenal. She should get an Academy Award for wow. this performance. I remember Julie Charles because I'm 76 years old, so I remember her when she was very young, you know, and I, I could just see her. Every time she said something, I said, oh yeah, that's her. Oh yeah, that oh. really, really, really is her. What made you come to this movie today? Um, I love cooking. And uh, and I think I, I see Julia Child as, you know, the pre-runner for Rachel Ray and, and people like me, you know, and not that I compare myself to her at all, but just people who enjoy cooking. The whole fun part of the movie was all the cooking, you know, and, the, <laughs> and when you were watching Meryl Streep do Julia, it was bringing a lot of memories back of who Julia Child really was. It's a book that really means a lot to me in terms of... Um, when I started to cook when I was first married um, and it was given to me and I thought it was much too much to master and it turned out to be really easy because they give you all the, um, she gives you all the steps. My copy of Mastering the Art of French Cooking was ruined in a basement flood uh, years ago and now I'm going to go out and buy another copy. Excellent. <laughs> so it may even inspire me to go out and buy a cookbook from Julia. That's how much I love this movie. I mean, it was just a joy to watch um, and especially just uh, to kind of remind people that you know cooking is much more than about cooking. It's about what it it brings people together. Today, so many people view it as a chore. Yeah, you know? but really, it is it is about the passion and about the love. And I think that's what Julie Powell, you know, wrote about, and that's that's what this movie is about. How does Amy Adams do? I mean, that's a tough competition. She was good. She was awfully good. She was great, you know, but. Um, Nobody could, <laughs> I, I'm sorry, no one could beat Meryl Streep. Was it a good idea to split up the storyline and basically make two movies? Did that work or should they just make the Julia Child story? No, I think both of them worked out very well, you know, and even though it was two, two movies, it was still very interesting. I thought they really wove it together very well indeed and there wasn't any point where I thought the jumping about was, was hard to follow, so I'd give it a rave. Both the women in this movie are married. Do their husbands, they do a nice job in their... Yeah, you know, Chris Messina, he's, uh, he could be anybody's boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> what was the best dish that they cooked in the movie? Well, um, I think, being a woman, uh, the chocolate cake. <laughs> the very last recipe she made with, with the, the, the chicken with wrapped in the pastry. 
It's good. Okay. I had to try that, yeah. It's the raspberry thing that she dropped on the on, on the sidewalk on the way to work. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> oh no! What do, so you think you might try your hand at making that? I think I'm going home to look it up. Don't bypass Julie and Julia as a chick flick, because it's not. It's it's so much more than that. Nora Ephron. This is probably one of her better movies in a long time. Oh really? Ooh. Yeah. It wasn't a big blockbuster movie, but it was a fun summer movie. It's an old-fashioned movie, and uh, it's 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 wonderful. What do you give the movie on a one to ten? Oh, I'd have to say ten. I'd give it a nine. An eight. Nine. Ten. Ten. Perfect ten. Everyone's talking about Meryl Streep and food. His audiences give Julie and Julia a nine. And hey, if you like talking about movies, friend me on Facebook. I regularly post discussion topics about the latest movie news, and my Facebook friends can post as well. So friend me and join the conversation. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from AMC Empire 25, and you've just gone beyond the trailer.